Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Brankus, and before you can watch the tutorial, I just wanted to make a quick announcement to the people who do are, are subscribed or want to know just a little bit of more information about some a big update that's happening to my channel. So last week, last week on Monday, or actually this week, this Monday, I uploaded a Batman Arkham Knight, and I said it was going to be a one-time only thing since it's a um, it's a mobile gaming channel, but I have decided to revamp my channel, and as you're seeing on the screen right now is my brand new logo, um, for the brand of Kiss Gamer. Uh, tell me what you think about it. It's going, it's going to be take a f few days for me to implement it. I need to get my uh, banner up on like my Twitter and stuff to get it all fixed and synced up. So watch out for that and. I will let you get onto your the tutorial and showcase for INDS. So I'll um, play with you guys, game with you guys, and talk to you guys later. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Brandicus, and today I am here on Saturday. I'm sorry for the delay, but due to a person that was in the comments, um, and he said that. Uh, he would want a tutorial on INDS. Well, there's really not, it's much easier to use. So this is more of a showcase than a tutorial, but I will show you how to get ROMs in there. And just a reminder, a quick reminder, only get ROMs that you actually own. Because if you don't own the actual games physically, it's illegal. So make sure you have, like for ROM hacks, you have the base ROM physical copy. Because basically the ROM hacks are creations of the um, hackers but the base ROM is owned by Nintendo. So uh, just wanted to condone that. And without further ado, let's get into the showcase slash tutorial. Now, what you first need to do is right now on iEmulators, uh, INDS is not signed. So if you don't want to have to pay for um, this, you might as well skip the tutorial and it um, until it gets signed for free, but if you are willing to pay, um, this is a great service. I, as you can see, this is my Build Store account. Now, Build Store, if you don't know, is a service, a subscription service. You pay ten dollars per year that you can, uh, per device. At the moment, they're actually planning on having something that you could have multiple devices for one price. But anyways, you have a assured proven way of having permanent emulators without jailbreak now uh, like I said it is ten dollars a year but honestly I have never had the best customer better customer service the best experience like when something happens with their like if ROMs aren't like emulators aren't downloading they get right on it so it's really they're really nice also. Uh, I, I have a DM open with them, and uh, they, they kind of give me a little intel, which is really nice of them. So, But anyways, as you can see, you can have like the brand new gamepad, which I'll put a link down in the description below, below for um, Operation iDroid's videos. The one is to get it through audio emulators so it cur is currently signed, and two is to fix the forbidden error. Supposedly, they only allow to tap be accessed for people in China. So, you have to go through his tutorial um, to figure out how to do that. But my tutorial, of course, is on INDS. And as you can see in the description, um, it is a upgraded port of the NDS for iOS um, base. So, NDS for iOS is a base. It, it, it ensures 60 F PS performance on like newer devices like uh, my iPad Air 2 that's on the screen right now and like uh, iPhone 5s and above so and they also added ZSIP so you do not need the extra app that I showed in my NDS for iOS tutorial which NDS virus is now right now signed on IM layer so you better get your hands on it before it gets revoked the certificate gets revoked but like I was saying, you don't need that extra app that I showed in the tutorial because it supports all kinds of ROM uh, compact files. 
It also features auto saves, as you can see in the description. I'm just reading it off just real quick, and now I'm going to show you. Um, and uh, you can control the controller size, so you can make the, uh, the buttons bigger and smaller. And I love that because uh, my controller is now easier to use, like in, po in like Pokemon and stuff like that. And 100,000 cheats are included, over 100,000 for tons of games and you can implement if they don't have the cheat you want you can add the cheat um they don't have and you can have that for your game but honestly cheats aren't that take the fun out of the game honestly uh so let me show you uh at least the uh the way how to use INDS which I will be switching to my iPhone video so as you can see, I got my iPad here, right here, uh, and I'm going to show you the features of INDS. Um, I'm sorry for the bad quality. I mean, it's film, this is filmed with my sex ass, so it's not that bad. But anyways, uh, what I meant was the fidgeting around, because I can't really hold it still. But as you can see, I have all my games that I had previously takes up about two gigs, over two gigs, because of all the ROMs I have. Like, these are mostly ROM hacks, and I have the bases, so it's completely legal. legal. But anyways, okay, let me show you a little feat, a couple of the new features of upgrades. Uh, you could put full screen settings, so I'll, sh I'll turn that on, and I'll show you when I activate a ROM. Synchronous audio makes the audio, like, sync with the game more, so it sounds a lot better. You could disable sound, of course. Periodic save, it um, that activates auto save. Where like if you close the app, or if it crashes, it will have an auto save already. But cho choose auto save, not pause, because pause won't work. I found that out the hard way. And you could change, of course, the. Uh, you could still have the normal uh, volume bumpers. I have not figured that out, but. Uh, Hopefully I will. I mean, it's not, it, I haven't used it, so it hasn't been a problem. Show FPS is there. But as you can see, they've taken out the developer JIT. Because, uh, of course, it only worked with jailbreak devices. And if you had that activated non-jailbroken, it would uh, not, it would crash every time. But anyways, uh, so here is all the ROMs, okay? Let me show you a little bit. So I'll launch my, uh, my Pokemon game right here. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So as you can see, like you can hear it. Eh. Here, let me turn it down for you. But anyways, as you can see, it's the screen controller is bigger. And you can set layouts for different games if you want. You can, you can name them so you can sort them out. And as you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Sacred Gold. This is Sacred Gold. Um, and here, this is what I mean by full screen settings. See, as it's it's full screen now. Okay, like usual. Then you could go into emulator settings and uh, turn off full screen. And so it's just this like little box on the screen. But then you could change it back, and voila. And here, let me show you. I, I implemented some cheats, so I could show you. Like, as you can see, I added, like, I never figured out color pictures, so don't worry about that one. Walls and 100% and stuff like that. They have all these cheats, and then they have, like, the version 1 multiplier code for XP. And then they have even the version 2. Version 2, yeah, version Ver version jam <laughs> but anyways um but yeah they have that and i know what you're looking at fast forward we know we've all been spoiled throughout the few couple years of gbi for ios with the fast forward and honestly two, um two times actually works pretty well even on my on job work and ipad air 2 but when it gets to four times, the FPS really drops. It's mostly during, like, Pokemon Battle Scenes. It um, is at, like, perfect 60 FPS. But anyways, uh, enough with that. Now, let me show you how much easier it is to get runs. Okay, as you can see, 
NES for iOS ROMs. Okay. Or NES ROMs. Now, of course, I forgot to explain. In app browser. Yes, they take took it out in GBA for iOS due to Riley tested getting a uh, email from a Nintendo and having to take it out and initially leaving us to have to resort to those tutorials clicking mine with NDS for iOS. But now you could go in, you could go to one of these games and here, let me, we're going to do Grand Theft Auto just like last time. How about that? Uh, now you just click on the thing you want. Oh, and it won't automatically transfer your saves from the NDS for iOS folder in Dropbox. So you'll need to transfer those and and unlike NDS for iOS, make sure you get the exact ROM. And if it doesn't work, try it and copy and paste the ROM's exact name so it recognizes the save file for that game. All right, so now you download here, okay? The normal wait time. All right, so it's white right here, but as you can see, it's waiting. And it's 7Z. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, huh? And now you wait, it says waiting, and then, I mean, keep scrolling up and down until it's gone, and it's right there, boom, all right, that's really cool, huh? And like I said, um, before I leave you off uh, to maybe go buy, uh, like I said, 10 bucks, not that bad for a year of emulator permanent you could just renew um for the next year and like i said they're working out the kinks so there might be a plan to have one payment for multiple devices but uh as always i'll play with you guys game with you guys and talk to you guys later see you guys